Hello fellow gamers, welcome back to another episode of The Hunting Guide. You are here with Keldal, and we have been moving through Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate and hunting all of the various large monsters. And now we are going to be hunting the Great Rogi. So this is actually a newer one for the uh, Ultimate version um, from Monster Hunter Tri that was on the Wii. Um, and this is basically a poisonous great um, jaggy. So... Fairly similar moveset, but it has the ability to poison. Um, so as you can see, I am bringing with me some handy dandy antidotes um, in case I get hit by that poison. And let's go ahead and take a quick look at the uh, website, of course, so we want to check out those resistances. Alright, so here we are on kiranaiko.com with the great Rogi. So bird wyverns that spit poisonous mist, Rogi travel in packs that are led by the largest and most toxic member. The poison is made in a sac-like organ around its throat. If this is destroyed, the creature's ability to spit, spit is impaired. Alright, so that's kind of implying that you can break that sack. So we'll go ahead and check out its damage charts. Very similar to uh, the great Jaggy, it only has the head and the body area. It is very weak um, at the head area. And it is weak against water and ice. Um, a little bit with thunder, but it's immune to fire and dragon. So you want to bring basically a water weapon or an ice weapon if you have that. Um, tolerances. Um, so as you can see, um, pretty high tolerances against uh, poison there. And um, increases uh, quite a bit um, after trying to poison. So probably don't want to even bother trying to poison a great Rogi because you're really not going to get it off. So, uh, Flooded Forest and Volcano um, are the two areas that you're probably going to end up finding him. Um, he does show up uh, outside in um, the Moga Woods um, area as well, so there are deserted island um, areas that he'll move in, and I believe it's um, almost identical to the Great Jackie as well, um, but it could deviate a little bit from there, um, but I don't think it does. Alright, um, so the carves, there's just body carves, you can't chop his tail off or anything uh, like that. Um, here's all the capture percentages. Um, the wound, so you can wound his head just like the jaggy, that's the only wound spot. Um, so that's probably going to be where you're going to break its sack um, and pair its ability to spit poison. Probably just won't spit poison as often, um, or it'll try and spit and then it'll end up having basically a dry cloud instead. And then the shiny drops as well. Alright, so I'm going to be using a long sword that does ice damage, as you can see there. Um, so I saw that it was most weak to ice damage, so I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. And let's pick up our quest. Alright, so another mission in the flooded forest. You can see he's over in area 2 right over there. Pick up my items. Gives you the usual stuff. Some shots. Doesn't bother giving you the poison shots. Um, but it does give you some uh, antidotes. So I'll add those to my stack as well. And head on out. Got some little Roggies around here as well. They do have the ability to poison too, so you might want to look out for those. Oh, is he running in that area? Okay. Alright, so here is the Great Roggy. So again, very similar size to um, Great Jaggy. Um, and you can see that purple um, area on his neck. Um, so that's basically his little poison glands there. Uh, very similar moveset. There's that dual tail swipe right there. Um, similar kind of little short lunges, and there's that poison cloud. So he spits it right out in front, and it kind of hangs there for a little bit. Um, it poisoned Cha Cha and um, the little bug guy right there, the al Alatroth or whatever he is. Um, and it looks like Cha Cha is doing an antidote dance, um, but he got interrupted there. So generally, when I'm fighting Great Rocky, just to avoid that poison altogether, stay to its back and its sides. You won't really need to worry about him at all. Um, 
and hopefully you just won't be in the wrong spot at the wrong time when he lets out that poison because he does it quite often as you see he's already done it three times um and i was making sure i am not in that area staying out of here coming around to the side taking the extra time to run around him and dodging out of the way as quick as possible Let's see if I can hit him at the end here. Yep. All right. So at least I got that charged up. Get out of the way of these lunges. And dodge to the side and get next to him again. All right. Wait for those tool Dale swipes. And let's see if I can get this. Am I going to hit him? There we go. Charged up to the second level. Okay, barely dodged out of the way of that poison. Staying to the side, nice safe spot, still hitting its head area. All right, fight through that tail swipe there. Move off to the side around that poison cloud, and he is already limping away. I'm doing quite a bit of damage with this ice weapon. He is weakest against it. I've charged it up to the second level right now. And let's see if I can get it charged up fully. Oh, I just missed him at the end there. Oh well. That's alright, he's still limping away. He's in area one. Let's go ahead and follow him over there nice and quick. There we go. Objective complete. And it looks like I broke his uh, sack there right at the end. So you can see that um, it's kind of torn up a little bit. Um, so that's what it looks like when it ends up breaking. I did it right at the end. Um, and I can get these body carves now. So pretty easy fight. You just have to worry about that poison. Um, but pretty much very similar to fighting the great Jaggy. So if you've got Jaggy down, then you'll probably won't need to worry too much about uh, the great Roggy, and get this shiny that dropped when I ended up breaking his uh, head there. All right, so that is the great Roggy fight. So thanks everyone for watching, and we will catch you later on another hunt. See you around.